Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This one is going to be about how to wire up and code the ADS1115. And I'm going to wire it up to the ESP32 um, because, well, why not? It seems that not many people have done it before and, uh, you know, this is the new and upcoming uh, microcontroller so I thought why not. So I'm going to wire it up and code it with this thing. Anyway, more about the ADS1115. Um, this is basically an ADC on steroids. Uh, the thing is ridiculous. Uh, it's by far the best I've ever used and it's just, uh, it's versatile uh, and it's crazily powerful. Um, so, I think the first thing I'll do is uh, talk about this thing and, uh, well, I suppose show you around. So first of all, what is this thing? Um, well, it's an ADC. So, if you've used um, the ESP32, the ESP8266 and the Arduino before, you'll know that these things have ADCs, and ADCs are analog to digital converters. And um, the reason why you want them is because these microcontrollers uh, don't understand analog. They only understand digital, because they're digital devices, of course. So you need an ADC. A lot of them have ADCs built in. Um, including the ESP8266 and the uh, you know the Arduinos and the ESP32, but sometimes they're not quite good enough. I mean, if you're trying to measure, uh, I don't know, current via a current shunt, for example, the the um, the ADCs of the microcontrollers just aren't going to cut it. And the reason being is because uh, their resolution is not particularly good, and uh, and they have no gain. Um, so if you're trying to measure, um, you know, from a current shunt, you may have a drop of um, maybe a millivolt or something like that, or or maybe less, maybe a bit more. And yeah, the ADCs that are built into microcontrollers are not really designed to do stuff uh, that precise. So you might want to get an external ADC uh, such as this one. So anyway, let's have a look at it. So it says 16 bit. Uh, what does that mean to start with? Well, the Arduino has a 10-bit ADC, and um, it's to do with the resolution or how precise you can get readings to be. Okay, so let's start with the Arduino. So, Arduino, and that's 10-bit. So there are 10 bits uh, which it uses to store a value that's read into it into its ADC. And with 10 bits, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, well, you can store an amount of values. And the amount of values that can store is 1024. Um, so the reason why it works like that is because if you get uh, 2 to the power of 10, it's 1024. Um, so yeah, uh, it can store a value from 1 to, to 1024 or 0 to 1023. That's the Arduino. Now this thing, which is the, the thing on steroids as I mentioned before, this is a 16-bit thing. So if I write over here uh, ADS1115, this is 16 bits and you can ac actually get other ones too. You can get 12-bit as well and various others. But this has 16 bits to store the value that it reads in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that potentially can hold a crazy amount of uh, numbers. And it works out that 2 to the power of 16 is around about 65,000. It's actually just above that. And what this means is that we can have a crazy resolution. So basically, this thing reads in a value and it represents it, well it's represented by uh, a number from 0 to 1024. So if I was to read in 5 volts here in the Arduino, um, I would the Arduino would, uh, would give me the number 1024. If I was to read in 5 volts here, with the 5 volts being the ADC's max, it would give me 65,000. And if I was to read in uh, 2.5 volts, here it would give me 512, here would give me uh, 32,500, is that right? Something like that. Um, but if you keep going down and down and down, you can see that this has much, much, much better resolution. Um, and what that means is you can be more accurate and you can uh, go into much finer scales. Um, granularity is much better. Um, 
so yeah uh, that's in a nutshell that's that's what the difference is with this uh, business about bits so um, yeah moving on now so we've covered 16 bit I squared C is of course uh, a protocol that it uses to communicate with the microcontroller so when this has done its ADC work it passes the data over to the microcontroller via I squared C which is very convenient um, it says the ADC which of course it, this is an ADC PGA means programmable gain amplifier so you know before when I mentioned about the um, the amount of bits uh, which it could use to store the value that's read in well not only can it read in the values so from 0 to 5 volts for example but you can actually program a gain amplifier and what this means is that if you wanted to read an extremely low value into it you could get this thing to multiply it up um, in order to make it more useful perhaps um, so if you wanted to read it in, read in values that were like um, I don't know 1 millivolt or 2 millivolts or 3 millivolts the Arduino 10-bit ADC simply wouldn't cope it, it, it just wouldn't cope because the resolution of one count in a 10-bit ADC is uh, near 5 millivolts so if you're running 1 millivolt it simply wouldn't understand because the resolution doesn't work um, but with this thing not only is the resolution better you can actually program a gain too so you can say to this thing whatever's read in multiply it by a certain value and then convert it um, which gives you extreme power I mean you can measure in the most ridiculously small voltages you can think of and this thing will deal with it no problems so that's a programmable gain amplifier and that's actually set in code which is even more incredible uh, sometimes you you know with these chips and things you have to fiddle about with resistors and change this resistor in this one to configure the the gain but with this thing you don't it's really incredible so uh, that's basically what it is um, there's a little chip on there a capacitor a couple of resistors two more capacitors and then sorry one more capacitor and two more resistors on there so it's not particularly interesting there there's nothing on the back really um, so let's have a look at the pins now so there's VDD which I think that's supposed to say VCC maybe ground uh, serial clock serial data address alert and then there's the analog in pins and um, this thing works in different modes you can have um, I can't remember what it's called like single input so you could have a single input into there and it you'd also connect the ground or you could use it as a comparator which um, which is to do with which voltage is higher one or the other and you can also use it in differential mode which I think is probably the most useful and it works out the difference in voltage between one point to the other point anyway um, I've explained pretty much uh, what this is uh, briefly so now I think it's time to wire it up